Never had an incident on my watch, and I don't want to start today. Hey, Bobby. This vault would fall apart if I wasn't here to tell old Rusty to fix it. I heard it say you were dangerous. Can I have a word? Okay, we can talk. Look, I know I ain't the easiest man in Far Harbor to get along with. Social graces? Well, that's never been my strong suit. Thing is, most folk in Far Harbor ain't worth a damn anyway. All of them cowering behind their wall, too scared to fight for their home. Can't like someone I can't even respect. And, uh, well, that brings me to you. If you're trying to say that you respect me, then I'm glad you feel that way. I ain't going soft on you now. Don't be thinking that. All I'm saying is, it's good to meet someone who can take care of themselves for a change. Hell, I ain't been close to a lot of folks in my life. And there's even fewer I'd call a friend, but who knows. We stick together long enough, Captain. And it might just be that you're my next one. You sure about that? My friends tend to get into a lot of dangerous situations. That's every day of my life. All right, enough of this blubbering. You lead and I'll follow. Seems to be working out so far. Katie Pinn is a teacher here in 81. You should stop by her class. She's big on learning from outside. Welcome, welcome. I hope I'm not being presumptuous, but I'd like to ask you a favor. Would you mind donating some medical samples, even just a blood sample? I might, for some caps. All right. The overseer did give me a few caps for this. How does 50 caps sound? Why do you need medical samples? It's for my research. The people of Vault 81 have been genetically isolated from the Commonwealth for many generations. I'm trying to determine what the genetic variation is between the two populations. That hardly seems enough. Hmm. I suppose I can use the rest of my allotment. I can give you 100 caps. You'll have to do better than that to get your pound of flesh. You drive a hard bargain. I can give you 150, but not a cap more. Just have a seat, and I'll draw some blood. Sit there. This will only take a sec. There. Hardly hurt a bit, eh? Here are the caps I promised you. Thank you. This will be a great help. Now, I need to get these prepared immediately. You're that wanderer from the Commonwealth. I'm Rachel. I assist Dr. Forsyth with his medical duties. Are you sick or injured? Do you get a lot of patients in the vault? No. The people of this vault are surprisingly healthy. If that's all, I have work to do. Rachel. I can patch you up if you need it. For a small fee, of course. Patch me up, Doc. Now, go over your symptoms for me, one at a time. I'm feeling sick. I think it's radiation. We'll clean you up. Don't worry. All done. Any other complaints? No, we're done. All right. Don't ruin my hard work by dying out there. Excuse me, Overseer. Have you been down to medical to see Dr. Forsyth yet? He told me he's very interested in meeting you. Hey, Tina. I never should have gotten him started on Chet. Tired of working. Tired of this vault. 
Bobby. Tina doesn't know what she's talking about. I'm careful. Ain't nobody gonna catch me doing this stuff. Jeez, have you? Heads up. What? <clears throat> Something you need from me? Your thoughts? How'd anyone stay sane living in a place like this? Your thoughts? Heard about the experiments they did in places like this. Human decency must have been in short supply back then. How do you think things are between us? Don't know that we've got much of a relationship yet, but you seem all right to me. Oh, nothing. Fine. 